Super Storms. Welcome back to Mr. Sid Reads. We know about storms. There are several different types, right? We're going to learn more right here in this book, Super Storms, written by Seymour Simon. What a cool name, right? Seymour Simon. The air around us is always moving and changing. Remember, that's what weather is, the condition of the air. We call these changes weather. Storms are sudden, violent changes in the weather. Every second, hundreds of thunderstorms are being born around the world. Thunderstorms are heavy rain showers. They can drop millions of gallons of water in just one minute. During a thunderstorm, lightning bolts can shoot down between the clouds and the ground. A bolt of lightning is 50,000 degrees. <gasps> Imagine that heat. That's five times hotter than the surface of the sun. Lightning can destroy a tree or a small house. It can also start fires in forests and grasslands, as we've seen here in California. Thunder is the sound that lightning makes as it suddenly heats the air. You can tell how far away lightning is. Count the seconds between the flash of light and the sound of the thunder. Five seconds equals one mile. Hailstorms are chunks of ice that are tossed up and down by the winds of some thunderstorms. Hail can be the size of a marble or as large as a baseball. Nearly 5,000 hailstorms strike the United States every year and they can destroy the fields of crops and damage buildings and cars. We have hail here in San Francisco, but they're usually smaller. In, Ju what's this? in July 1995, a fast-moving group of thunderstorms hit New York State. Winds reached speeds of 100 miles per hour. Whoa, can you imagine that? Trees would snap in two. Thunderstorms sometimes give birth to tornadoes. Inside a storm, a funnel-shaped cloud reaches downward. Winds inside a tornado can spin faster than 300 miles per hour. These winds can lift up cars off the ground and rip houses apart. Television and radio stations often give early alerts. A tornado watch means that one may strike during the next few hours. A warning means a tornado has been seen by people or by radar. During a tornado warning, you should find shelter in a basement or in a closet. Hurricanes are the deadliest storms in the world. They kill more people than all other storms combined. Hurricanes stretch for hundreds of miles and they have winds of between 74 and 200 miles per hour. The eye of a hurricane is the quiet center of a storm. Inside the eye, the wind stops blowing, the sun shines, and the sky is blue. Don't be fooled. Beware. There is more of the storm. It's not yet over. Hurricanes are born over warm ocean waters from early summer until mid-fall. And when they finally reach land, their pounding waves wash away the beaches, the boats, and the houses. They have heavy rains and cause a lot of flooding. This was one picture taken of a horrible hurricane back in 1992. Look at what it did to a house. The whole house is just broken up into pieces and scattered across the ground. Blizzards are a type of huge snowstorm, and they have winds of at least 35 miles per hour. Usually at least two inches of snow fall per hour. Temperatures are 20 degrees or lower. 
Falling and blowing snow make it hard to see in a blizzard. And in fact, the word whiteout, a whiteout is when the blizzard is so strong and the snow is falling so heavily, you can't even see your hand as it passes in front of your face. Here we can see the piles of snow that snow plows have pushed along the edges of the road after a terrible snowstorm that hit the East Coast. Thousands of people were stuck on the roads and airplanes couldn't leave their airports. No one can prevent storms, but weather reports can predict and warn us when a storm may hit. The more prepared we are, the safer we will be when the next one strikes. Now don't leave. I have something really cool to show you. We were talking about the word tornado, and I have a tornado maker here with my two bottle, liter bottles of water. What I'm going to try to do is make a tornado inside the water. In fact, the real word for this, because it's water, is a whirlpool. In water, when it spins and goes down, that's a whirlpool. And in the air, that's a tornado. Here we go. All right, wish me luck. Please work, please work. Oh, I think I got one! I've made my whirlpool slash tornado. Isn't that cool, guys? Well, I hope you've enjoyed learning about super storms. Come back for more. Bye, guys.